Hi, I'm Jennifer Priest from Hydrangea Hippo with a fun tutorial today on how to make felt stockings for your pets. We're going to use some really gorgeous thick felt from Kunin Felt as well as some puffy paint to create these customized pet stockings. Fill them with bones and all kinds of goodies for your pets and you can use them year after year. The first thing you're going to do is lay two pieces of felt right on top of one another and then take a permanent marker and kind of make an outline of the shape you want. So here I'm doing a dog bone and the next one I'm going to do a fish. Now you're going to take some scissors and cut through both layers of felt at the same time. Now you can use a pattern for this um, and you can just find a picture online of like a dog bone and then blow it up with a photocopier if you don't want to freehand it, but I kind of wanted this to be whimsical and fun. And I'm using these scissors from Westcott that are adjustable for thick materials. So it works really well to cut through the two layers of this thick felt. Next, I'm going to draw a fish shape and I actually end up just cutting out the body on this one because um, I didn't have enough felt where I was trying to cut this out at. So I just cut around and then I noticed that it wasn't like really symmetrical while I was cutting. So I folded it in half and kind of trimmed it just a little bit more to make it a little bit symmetrical. You also want this to be a little bit fatter or wider than you want the finished um, stocking to be. So you can have room for seam allowances. Now start sewing and you're gonna sew around basically three quarters of um, the whole thing. So I started sewing down one side and around the other side um, and then you're gonna wanna sew up the other side and then leave that top part open that's going to be the top opening of your stocking then I cut a little strip about a one inch by six inch strip to use to make the hanger I snipped my curves um, to the stitch line so that it would be easier when I turn this inside out um, to get around all those curved areas two triangles put those in between the um, two fish halves Tack that down really good on the end. I just went back and forth a couple times and then you're going to sew up one side and then leave the uh, top maybe third open and then sew down the other side. So um, the top of the fish is what's going to be open. You, basically the mouth of the fish is where you're going to put in the goodies for the kitty. Then again, you'll cut the one by six inch strip and sew that little loop on to hang it. And here I'm using some um, adhesive um, Velcro to close the top of my stockings. This way it doesn't kind of hang or flap open. Next I'm going to use some puffy paint. This is slick fabric paint from Tulip to write the pet's name and then just create this fun little kind of candy stripe outline. Now you don't have to do this. You can do it with a marker if you want um, and you don't have to put your pet's name like you could just put like meow for the cat or kitty or you could, you know, put like wolf for the dog if you wanted to, or even just do stripes and swirlies and fun little um, holiday type doodles. And then I just did a little bit of doodles with the uh, paint here on the tail to kind of give it a fun little effect. Let that dry overnight until it's completely dry. And then I hung them on my mantle. So this is all ready for my kids stockings to go right there next to our favorite pet stockings. I hope you enjoyed this DIY tutorial and consider making stockings for your pets. Please hit that subscribe button if you're cool. And down in the description will be a link to the Kunin Felt blog where you can see the entire supply list and get more inspiration. Bye!